everyone! In this video, I am going to show you how to create a CFD dispersion source scenario from scratch. There are two primary ways to set up discharge data such as mass flow rate, temperature, liquid fraction, and velocity for a CFD dispersion source scenario. First, you can create a CFD dispersion source by running a classic continuous release scenario. And there is a separate video which explains how to create a CFD dispersion source scenario from any of the existing classic scenarios. The second method is that if you have discharge data available, you can manually specify these parameters within the scenario input window, like how you can create a user-defined source in FAST. So to do this, Right-click on either an atmospheric storage tank or a pressure vessel scenario, go to Insert, and select CFD Dispersion Source. Open the input window, and in here you can see several different parameters that require to be specified. Now that I have specified the discharge data, I also know that I need to ensure that the elevation of discharge point is correct the inclination of release from horizontal, as this is currently set to default value of zero, as well as the correct rotation about the z-axis. So these are the required parameters within the scenario tab. You also need to ensure that the wind direction is correct. There are also several parameters within the dispersion tab that you need to check. For example, you can specify user-defined concentration levels that are different from the standard concentration levels, and you can create up to seven concentration levels. You then specify these values here, and you can specify them in random order, or you could specify them in either descending or ascending order. So within FAST, there is the flexibility to either let the software calculate the bounding box for you, you could use simple approximation, or you can specify this yourself. Then you are required to specify the minimum and maximum X, Y, and Z values for your calculation grid. You can also specify the simulation time for your run, and you could either set that to automatic or manually specify the value for this and you can decide how you'd like the results to be stored, whether you only want it for the last time model or you want it to be at regular time intervals. By setting this option to store results at regular time intervals, you can animate your results and you can visualize the development of your dispersing cloud over time. So once you have reviewed the parameters, click OK. So now that my scenario is ready, I could either Right-click and click Run CFD or click the Run CFD icon in the ribbon bar. So now that my scenario is running, you can better obtain visibility of the CFD results for any of the CFD scenarios using the new Open CFD Results folder. You can access this by right-clicking on the CFD scenario and then selecting Open CFD Results folder, and then selecting the weather condition of interest. So within this CFD Results folder, you can find useful files which you can use for further analysis and also troubleshooting of your CFD results. We hope that you find this how-to video useful. Thank you.